Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Total War Attila. We're playing on the Age of Charlemagne DLC as the Byzantine Empire being reforged from the theme of Sicily. My god, I'm actually, I just thoroughly enjoy Age of Charlemagne more than the main Attila campaign. It's just so much more enjoyable. It's sort of like a an updated version of Medieval 2, but not quite as good. But uh, it's pretty hard to beat. Medieval 2, mostly because of nostalgia, but it's just a great game, it really is, but uh, let's, it, this is good, I really do enjoy this DLC, this is, if you're going to go out and buy this DLC, I highly recommend you do it, way better than the last Roman DLC, in my opinion, and uh, yeah, I, well, not trying to rush it, but I reckon we can wrap up the campaign in today's episode, we only need to take one more settlement, to get our domination victory, as you see here, we obviously have Ireland, a bit of the UK, and then this huge chunk of Western Europe, of course. But I do want to finish off the Duchy of Provence. I don't think I'm going to go to war with this sort of paganism northern part and the Duchy of Bavaria, simply because in my Mercian campaign... I already did that. I invaded Denmark there and pushed down and, and fought them all. So I feel like I'd be sort of rinse and repeating myself. And I'm about to finish it here. We didn't actually go to war with Provence in the Brittany... Uh, sorry, the... Not Brittany campaign. The fucking... Mercian campaign. This is glitch for some reason. And I don't particularly want to go to war with Wessex and Mercia. They've been my loyal allies. I'm quite happy to let them be there. And it'll be a pain in the ass moving all these armies up here. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you'd like to replace. This doesn't necessarily have to be Age of Charlemagne, even though there are a lot of factions I would like to continue. But basically, I have skipped a couple of turns ahead, taken Barcelona and a couple of these settlements of Valencia down here. Because we finished off Mercia. The whole war was like, we had like three, four battles of Marseille in the last couple of episodes. So we finished off most of them here. The Duchy of Provence is now ranked 6, so we currently have Theodore. He did lose his son in the wars, our major casualty, apart from men. But we're going to be pushing upon this Duchy of Provence army here. We also have four more stacks in this vicinity. Three more pushing down near Valencia. We do have the Emperor Scholacticus and we have the Prince here, but basically it's just been clear order resolves. You haven't come up against an army. Now, I can see, because of the trade route, the uh, the leader, the Duke of the Duchy of Provence. I also have another army here, because look at my, look at my uh, treasury. I haven't really been spending any of my army, and I've actually been obviously taking more territory, and I've been losing more men. So what I'm going to do with this army here is I'm going to recolonize these burnt... Uh, regions in Iberia to take the entirety off. It looked quite nice. So yeah, got most of my armies down here. I did lose a full stack just with the amount of wars I had. So I'm replenishing one here at Bologna. Also recruiting one at Lyon. I do have an army up in Paris and I do have another army pushing up here just to defend my northern border because the Vikings are actually in my lands. I don't trust them uh, whatsoever. So, um, we're going to actually hit our domination victory in today's episode. So, see here, it's like a 95 to 5% chance. There's no way in hell that we're going to lose this. So, let's get the Emperor Scholacticus, our third Emperor. 57 men lost, 800 men killed. We're going to occupy the settlement and win the campaign now because, um, Obviously, the theme of Sicily isn't a playable faction in Age of Charlemagne unless you download the mods that I have in the link in the description below. There's not going to be a cutscene, uh, which is unfortunate, but hey, what are you going to do? But we've won the campaign. We've won the domination campaign. 29 provinces own, 98 regions. Superb. So we're going to continue the campaign. Let's finish off Provence. We might get a couple more battles in, but... Uh, yeah, a couple of clear-cut order resolves. I'm going to play that battle up in the north near Pamlona. There are a couple of Islamic factions I can bring back, but to be perfectly honest, I'd much rather take the entirety of Iberia for myself. If there are other any Islamic factions, I might have helped them. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. But we'll get Theodore to push upon the Duchy of Pamlona here. What? The Duchy of Provence near Pamlona. I'm a little bit tired, guys. I do apologize. I get my 
Words tongue tied. Now we're gonna have to push up these armies up before I push with Theodore. And uh, let's fight this one on the field now, shall we? But guys, if you still are enjoying this Total War Chiller Age of Charlemagne campaign, please leave a like. I'd really much appreciate it. It helps me out so much. It's, it's crazy. It, it, the video gets pushed out to new sub subscribers. It pushes my video out there. Rather said, it, it pushes the video out there, exposes me to new subscribers. And if you are enjoying, it helps me out a, a bunch. Also, subscribing keeps you up to date. And if you haven't already, want to follow my follow me on my social media links to stay connected with me, highly recommend you do. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Now we are playing in the thick, lush forests of Spain. So we're going to continue our sort of aggressive tactics against the Duchy of uh, Province. We're going to hit them. We're going to hit them hard. So... Put you here with the unit of Cataphractoi. Then use them on the right. This has been really working out for me. Just hitting them and hitting them hard. Obviously, Theodore losing his son in this war. So it has been a bloody war. Uh, we're sort of a clear shot here. But it's going to have to be pushed up anyway. So I don't particularly think my siege equipment is going to be that helpful in this. But... Uh, Let's start the battle. Let's attack them. Obviously, I do have reinforcements coming in as well. Let's reform up a bit. So, the generals coming in, if you don't recognize them, they are... Isaac, Theodore's firstborn son. And Th uh, Leo, who is the Emperor's secondborn son. Alright, let's reform this. I get my Oligas to fire upon theirs, I guess. Here comes their other infant. Here comes the other infantry now, which is a hell of a lot. Push up to the ridge here. Let's maybe get some cool cinematic shots. Come on, men! We've got them on the back foot. This army's been pillaging, raping the surrounding areas. God, those trees look magnificent. Very nicely done. Right, let's push up. Here comes Isaac, rallying towards his father. I might give out the lordships in this episode. Bit of a ridge here, we're going to have to watch out for that. I might even, matter of fact... Uh, no, I can't see them, so I was going to... We only got one unit of cataphractoi. Are we in range to even hit them? We're just going to have to be very, very careful in this tree line because there's a lot of ridges and we can get funneled in. Because I can't really see the main line, but I'm sure it's thick and... Pretty thorough here. We're moving up. These guys are breaking through the tree line. Here we go. Here they are. Let's engage them. Cavalry, uh, swing around. Okay. Get in, go, go, go. So they're more in the center. I thought they would have been further around. I 
so you can't really see what's going on unless you go into the thick of it. They do have a lot of mercenary... Uh, and... How, how do you say that? I'm going to pause it. Oh, here we go. Sim and... Alusian. Alusian. I think that's how you say it. Uh, a couple of Islamic mercenaries. Obviously, they know that the Roman Empire, the Byzantine Empire, which we're trying to reforge, won't give them any land, so... Staying with Provence might help them a little bit more, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> right, let's get the Cataphractoid to charge in. Fuck me! Alright, well, here come our infantry coming in. Move my crossbowmen up. Go for the general unit. Cavalry. Go for the onigas now. Yeah. It's interesting how this is sort of turning. We're getting our shots off. Aim for there. Yeah, I don't really know how the Cairo Ballista are going to work. The enemy general is dead. Fantastic, get my cavalry to push them down. I'm not really too sure how these... Oh, we killed a lot of our axemen then. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to halt and disable fire at will. Right, swing around. So we've actually flanked them a lot harder than what I actually thought. More men are coming in. But the thing is, like, when you flank, when obviously you've got like a flat line like that and you flank around them, you expose your behind. And obviously, especially when they've got this amount of skirmishes, which we're going to have to just quickly reform further around, especially in the trees you can't quite see. But here come the reinforcements coming in now. There's a hell of a lot of them. These guys are just going to push up and help ten times more. You just can't really see what's going in in the tree line. You just have to zoom out to command. But this Tagmata cavalry is engaging. But at this point, you'd think that they're relatively broken. Yep. And we've won. After those men charging along the battlefield... Let's just, just, let's just, uh, continue. Now, usually when I'm running them down, I get some cool cinematic shots. But seeing, seeing, uh, see, fuck me. <sighs> seenings, or seemings, seenings, that the tree line is so, th so thick, you're not going to be able to see much of them. But I do want to try and run down as many of them as possible. So, I don't have to fight them later, but... We've hit our domination victory. We're going to finish off Provence. Once we've done that, we will... Um, oh, hang on. Hang on a minute. There's a... Couple of units of infantry. Him, in, uh, infantry here. I'm getting tongue-tied. It's like 4 o'clock in the morning. I've been recording all day. I haven't stopped, so... Maybe I need a glass of water. That might be all right. Or a nice tea. What What's your favourite beverage? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> but yeah, it looks like there's a bit of a clearing here, and we're actually going to be able to get be able to get some cinematic shots here. I'm actually going to disable the mountain. I'm going to get. Oh, they're going to run away from us. No, they're sort of like glitching here, which is 100% fine with me. Let's get the. Uh, Theodore to get some practice. I'm curious to see. Okay, so they have. They've got spears. They're fighting with spears if they're dismounted. That's interesting. But here comes Theodore with his shield. Oh, so now they're running? Are you fucking serious? We're not going to be able to catch them either. Maybe Isaac can come in his son. Yeah, we're not going to be able to catch them now. Fuck. Theodore's not going to get his practice, but he's, but Isaac might. Oh, 
No, he might be a little bit too far. Brilliant. We didn't even get it anyway. <laughs> right. Theodore lost 342. What did most of the kills? Yunda Swordsman did 255. But at this point in time, Provence are on the back foot. They didn't really hold up much of a chance. Oh, that's the same display picture. <laughs> I didn't even notice. So, Theodore deployed 7,485 and lost 3,000... Sorry, 342, not 3,000. Uh, the Duchy of Provence deployed 2,363 and lost 1,532. So, we'll kill the captives. But that army is not what it was. Straight through his stomach and his innards. Perfect. Right, let's kill them. And continue. Continue to push south and help. But we're slowly reforging the uh, the the former Roman Empire. I have a feeling Scholacticus will be maybe dying soon. 64. Martin will inherit the throne, but seeing that he doesn't have any children, Leo, his brother, will inherit the throne. But we've got a lot of candidates, which is fine. A lot of legitimate sons. But, uh, right, what else can we sort of do here? Next turn, we'll start colonizing the desolate land. Now, it's going to be interesting to see if the Vikings or any of the paganism factions declare war on me, because they do absolutely despise me. But I do have a strong military presence in the north, so that's sort of keeping them in check. And I'm about to send Gregory to Trier. Paris has a full stack nearly. I do have another army at Lyon being constructed. This army at Bologna pushing across. Uh, what else can I do? We'll get Scholacticus to push on Sevilla. Or Seville. Obviously, modern day Sevilla. We'll take it. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to occupy any of these Islamic factions. They're not even going to be my vassal. They're going to be military allies. And even though... I don't think Bavaria ever was my military ally. They were my defensive. I don't trust them. I'd much rather take it for myself. It also looks fantastic on the campaign map. Right, so let's push over the border. I might actually go here first. Right, that's, um, yeah, I might sort of split it up a bit. Let's continue. Right, how are we going for time? 18 minutes. Yeah, I think we can wrap this campaign up. We'll see. I'm not in a rush, though. I don't want you guys to think that. But uh, once we finish off Provence, whether or not we do that in this episode or we do like a recap at the end. Wait, what? If this deal is accepted, this section will join you. Why aren't Wessex at war with Provence? Do they make peace with them? Yeah, well, I'm happy to give you that. The fuck? United we stand. This faction has joined with us in a bid to rid the world of these mutual enemies. Fair enough. There's a small military presence at Lisbon, though. Alright, let's continue to push upon Provence. You gotta give it to them, they had a huge empire, but... Uh, it's so interesting that a couple of episodes ago I only had three full stacks. As soon as I fix my corruption, fucking boom. Insane how that's happened. So, let's... Uh, colonize... This desolate land is going to cost... It's going to lose me 1,320 soldiers. It's going to cost me 2,497. 
So let's colonize Santiago. A whale's vagina. <laughs> oh, Anchorman. Alright. I might even colonize a couple of people with, like, Theodore or something. Alright, let's continue. We've got Provence on the back foot. But, uh, yeah, we're going to be finishing this campaign in the not too soon. Well, maybe this episode, or well, we'll find out, I guess. Or if not, in the not too soon future. So let me know in the comment section down below what campaign you'd like me to replace this. It doesn't necessarily have to be Age of Charlemagne, it just has to be a, a total war, of course. Medieval, maybe go back to Empire. Let me know. So it looks like... Their kings moved up there. Their, I think the duchies have dukes, don't they? So we might have a... A battle of two. I might even have this army take Braga. To be honest. A mana. Just to continue. After this, I'm going to do a save. Also, don't necessarily know what the time is. Yeah. 4.04 in the morning. Brilliant. Which I don't mind. Just my brain goes a little bit stupid. I find it easier. I find it better for me to record in the mornings. A lot quieter. Leon has expanded. Don't overly care, but, uh, oh, okay, so they've moved a small army there. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to take it, though. We'll move Theodore up to colonize this land. Jeez, I forgot these lands used to be owned by the Kingdom of Astorius, but it looks like the, the Duke has pushed back. So we're sort of clustering in here now. But we've nearly taken the entirety of Iberia. Which is awesome. If you haven't played Medieval 2 of Spain, they are one of the best factions. I love Iberia. It's just such rich with uh, resources. It's awesome to conquer. Especially in Medieval 2. Obviously, you can knock out Portugal. The Pope won't overly care too much. But you can knock out the Moors. <laughs> and... Go up and and that's quite nice. That's a good battle, but I'm going to withdraw. I don't want to lose my my uh, my prince. Uh, pay him off. All right, take this other bit of land. Colonize Salamanca. Didn't overly cost that much to. Just take that. We take this settlement. Nice. It looks like Provence are having a... A final stand. I might get uh, Prince Martin to command it, but they are sort of in the trees. We do have a lot of men, though. Reinforcing. So I wouldn't be surprised if they sort of up and leave a bit. Oh, I can swing this army around and hit the flank there. I might not cross the river though. If they attack me there, we've got a cool river crossing. Right, let's push upon with Martin. He doubled back. Now, I have to do this whole like shimmy. Uh, how big are these other armies? Not as big. But, it looks like they're going to... Stay, I might even withdraw, to be honest. Because I want to fight. Hmm. 
Nah, bugger them. Let's fight. Which army are we gonna fight? Both exactly the same, but they've been spawned in. This other army's a little bit better, though. But I need everyone... I need as many men as I can in here, but... Uh, hang on. If I push you guys further around and we hit this other army here, it might give me better odds. Yeah, it has. As you saw there... Make haste, men. That is impossible. Uh, if I can swing this army... They're being pushed back even more. I hate how the AI does that. Huh. We got this other army around the corner, though, don't we? Those other armies are going to be... Oh, perfect. That is superb. Look at that. Tactics. Fuck me. Did you see that? How he pushed them back, eliminated their turns, because they're allowed to retreat twice or whatever, and now we have surrounded them. <laughs> very, very nice job there. But, uh, yeah, let's fight these guys on the field. This is the final stand of Provence. I don't mind playing two battles per episode. Because uh, they have put up a pretty big fight. Probably the best fight I've had, to be honest. Walkers of the Way. Oh, dry. Obviously, we are in the western southern part of Spain, so it's not the most hospitable. A very, very nice and dry battle, though. Awesome. Right. Let's go with the stock standard deployment. We're actually missing a unit of Axemen there. So we're not going to be able to flank entire, entirely. We'll do our best. We've got Cataphractoi on the right. And left, large Oniger. I want to obviously attack them. I want to push them. Cairo Bis Ballista can go there. Alright, pop you like here. Maybe I should make this a little bit more thinner. The line's thinner, but technically it makes them longer, doesn't it? For you there. Get my Onigas into position. Get the Cataphractoi to hit. Oh, their unit's there. All right. Let's move my general up. Alright, let's go, 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 gadget. So my reinforcements are actually coming from this side and right here. Oh, wow, we're going to be able to get a nice attack on here. Whoa, 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 what's happened here? Uh, they've actually deployed behind me, which doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fall those Axemen behind. I'm going to reform you. And maybe even my archers, to be honest. Alright, get the you guys. Uh, except for my general units. Just to charge uh, down in there. Alright, you guys. Go this other side here now. Without my general units. We're going to need help on this other side. Move the cataphractoid back. Oh. 
What have they got? What are they throwing at us? Oh no, it's... Their ballista. Right, engage their cavalry. Right, what's happening here? If we can break this center here, we'll be fine. Right, what's happening behind us? That's the problem. Well, they're aiming for my general unit. The enemy general is dead. Perfect. We just need to keep an eye on all these fronts that are opening up. Because I'm fighting basically a battle on two sides. And if we're not careful, we're going to be exposed. And looking after these cavalry is going to be a nightmare. let alone negotiating friendly fire. Alright, get you guys here. Right, what's happening in my front line? Okay, how are we doing? I don't mind the cataphractoi going into an engagement here just against skirmishers. The thing is, they're a shock unit, of course, so... Getting slogged down to the, into comment isn't their speciality. Right. Getting in and out is their... Best sort of trait. Right. Break this. They're putting up a a good final stand. Worthy of a good ending. Right. Get my ballista and Cairo ballista to halt. Because I feel at this point they're going to be causing way too much... Uh, a friendly fire to be worth it. Get my crossbowmen to hit there. Run them down. Let's surround these guys now. Right, what's happening over here? Let's get some flanking maneuvers on. Nice eagle in the left hand side. What's happening over here now? I want to put all my generals in like the one corner. So I don't have to look after. I can just. I need to look after them. There's a general unit here. I'll get my ballista to run them down. Right, how. How's the main line over here going? Fine. We're winning. Okay. How am I cataphractoi neutralizing the large onager? They've done well. Cool battle. There's a charge coming in here, which I don't like. Right, let's hit them from behind. 
Let's hit these guys from behind these skirmishes. Marches, rather said. Because trying to run them and chase them down is quite fruitless. We still haven't broken them here. They are holding on quite well. Now, because I have a feeling that there's going to be way more reinforcements coming in, we just need to not throw everyone on this side. Jesus, what the fuck's happened to that guy? He's just like stuck on a... I don't know. Only the gods know. Right, how are we going? Obviously our generals, Martin. Prince Martin, of course. Watching on, giving out the commands. But this sort of cluster fuck nest is... Is going alright. This guy's about to get his head cut off. <laughs> The other guy glitched in front. I just knew that that... I've seen that animation a lot. I knew what was going to happen. Man! Those... There's like three of them like bit the dust. Those charges are so deadly. That was a nice devastating blow. I've broken them there. Nice. <sighs> My apologies, guys. Ugh. Alright, let's finish these guys off. Go on, you're gonna kill him? About time. What's happening here? Bring him down, bring him down. The guy's losing, looks like he's lost both his legs. And on that note, we have one. I love zooming in and getting some really nice sort of animation kills. <laughs> that guy sort of just got like lost. Stand and fight, you cowards. At least that guy had a good death. These are hutches are going to get run down and made into mincemeat. A good old Italian lasagna. A Byzantine lasagna, I guess. Um, let's end the battle there. Right. We deployed 10,000. We lost 1,698. They deployed 4,960. So a pretty good battle. Uh, they lost, they deployed 4,960, they lost 4,500. 
Managed to kill all three generals. Let's kill the captives. I quite like that. I should have saved the replay, to be honest. Oh, well. I forgot. Right, let's continue to run down Provence. But I think that was sort of the final battle for them. Let's do a save. Got some unassigned skills. Not like it matters. We're about to finish this campaign off. You'd think. Three more... Oh, sorry, two more territories left that Provence have. We already hit the domination victory. Let's push and take Lisbon. So they basically have Portugal. Move everyone else up and in. Just to get the over resounding result. Oh no, I'm wrong. There are three. There's Braga, Lisbon. Let's attack with Scholacticus. 346 lost. We're going to straight and occupy. We've run out of technologies to research. Okay, well, no, we nearly run out of technologies to research. We, we're only like one, two, three, four, five techs off. Most of this stuff I don't even use. But uh, any bit of it helps. Sassinius. So, yeah, once we finish off Provence, we'll give out the lordships. And uh, the kingdoms, I guess. I haven't even thought about it, so I don't even know how that's going to work. Duty calls. Okay. Gregory died. Uh, I might even get you to push further north. Just to help. There's the new king, Drogo. Count Drogo. <laughs> Not count. Gal, Gal Drogo. Pfft, count. Like I said, I am tired. It was 4.30 when I started this recording. It is now 4.30. It was 4 o'clock when I started. Um, yeah, I'll do a save. I'm pretty sure. Yes, my apologies, guys. Ugh, if I'm being a little bit stupid... Do I have some water? Oh, yeah, I do. My apologies. Okay, we're back. I just need a quick sip of water. Right. We are just running down the rebel scum. You're a part of the Rebel Alliance. I don't know why I'm doing that with my teeth. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, God. Right. Can we actually hit them? No, not quite. I'm not even going to bother about those unassigned skills. We're about to finish them off this turn. Oh, bastards. They've actually run away. Uh, occupy. Why was that? Subjugate. Oh, we can subjugate uh, Provence because it's their last capital. But I'm not going to. There's an army here we need to finish. There's an army here as well. But we have officially finished off Provence's settlements. Now, I really don't like in Attila how they can sort of come back like this. They just sort of like, well, they're going to die eventually. They don't have a big enough army to even, oh, they're going to take Santiago. As I say that. 
because there's not a garrison. We only recently just brought it back. I would be surprised if they didn't take Santiago. They have. The thing is, we're going to be able to push over the border and run them down. Even with my weakened army. This, this was my colonizing army. Oh, for fuck's sake. Um, so is that Provence's last army? Well, they do have a fleet. They ran away. At your command. But, um, yeah. I'm going to end it here, I think. They have two units here. We've finished with Provence. I'm not going to waste time and just let them rot. Because they are destroyed. We've beaten them. Um, there's no way it's impossible then for, for them to come back. So, let's do a save. I'm going to count that as a... Oh, maybe we should. No, nah, no, nah, fuck them. Fuck them. We're going to kill them. I don't mind. Playing a little bit longer. I want them destroyed. I want them to be crushed. We can't pussyfoot around this. We can't... Just end it. No. I refuse. Fuck me. We've got some money now. I don't care if we have to chase them. I think we've destroyed them now, though. Yes! Faction destroyed the Duchy of Provence. This faction was no match for their enemies. They are no more. And, um... So what have we got here? Food surplus. Recruitment capacity five turns. It's because we've hit what's this? Economical patron twenty. Where? Oh shit! Minus twenty five upkeep for all units and a twenty five percent tax rate. What's that from? Rise of an empire. I think I have no idea. But guys, um, on that note, I'm going to uh, do the lordships and end the video. So we've hit our. Victory conditions. We have a huge kingdom. Why does Angria not, like, mind me? Now, I could continue the campaign. Finish off the pagans up in the north. Angria, Westphalia, Eastphalia. Uh, the Nords and the kingdom of the Vikings. Push Momavera. But I feel like... I just feel like I've already done that. I feel like it would be a waste of time. I've won the campaign. I've finished off, obviously, the Franks, the Lombards, Provence... I think pushing upon Bavaria and the Germanic, uh, the Germanic sort of Danish pagans, it's something I've already done, and I did that with Mercia. Now, on the topic of Mercia and Wessex, I did think about uh, fighting them because Scholacticus is half uh, Mercian, his mother, obviously Leo the Lionheart, married an English daughter, a daughter of the great King Offa, no less, but. To be perfectly honest, I can't be bothered uh, sending all these armies just up here to, to fight Mercia. And I don't even think it'd be a very good war, to be honest. What's their overall ranking? Six and seven. What are we sort of looking at to fight against as well? So nothing there, really. Maybe two stacks at the most. Wessex will probably give us more of a fight anyway. But, uh, yeah, let's sort of give out the lordship. So, bloody, who have we got to contend with? Right, so we have Scalacticus, obviously. Martin is the emperor. So we're going to have to give a huge chunk to Leo. So, obviously, Scalacticus and his son Martin will inherit the Byzantine Empire, which is ruled from Sicily, the capital, and as emperor and pope, because we have Rome... That's what the sort of thing is. So, obviously, we started off with humble beginnings with Constantine. Wow. Absolutely fantastic. Pushed up against Italy. Leo the Lionheart. But Scholacticus, man, he was the main man to, to reforge the Empire. Just look at this huge chunk of purple. Fantastic. 
I do. I definitely reckon we've reforged the Roman Empire in our victory conditions. Right. So, Leo being the prince. So who should he should he be? The the king of the Franks. The king of the kingdom of the Franks. He gets this huge chunk of this kingdom because obviously the kingdom of Italy. So yeah, we're gonna obviously have. The Kingdom of Italy, I wish you could sort of mod this. It'd be really cool if you could like mod and I'd give out these lordships to specific factions and have like a civil war or something that you guys could play along with as well. That'd be quite funny. So obviously the Kingdom of Italy occupies Italy, Sardinia, Croatia and it is ruled by obviously Scholacticus and Martin, the Emperor at Sicily. So we've got another kingdom, we've got one kingdom there. Then we've got the Kingdom of the Franks which is this whole entire region of modern day France which expands fr to... Uh, Franconia and Bohemia. Now we're going to cut off there and make the Kingdom of Iberia. So who will be the kingdom? Occupy the Kingdom of Iberia. Man, Theodore has been, even though he has been a brother-in-law to Scholacticus, he really did step up to the plate after the emperor's actual brother Martin died. But we're going to have to give his children a claim as well. So. I don't know. Should Sicinius be the emperor of? Sorry, be the uh, the duke of the kingdom of Iberia. I think so. Even though Theodore is going to get a, a good position, I've got an idea what I can do for Theodore. So obviously, because technically he's actually next next in line. I don't know why Theodore's lines here. So we're going to give the kingdom of Iberia to Sicinius. And then, obviously, his sons will inherit it. We might even give his brother a, a, a big chunk. So, what's, what could be the capital of Iberia? What sort of makes the most money? Probably Cordoba. Sevilla, Barcelona. I don't know. I don't know. It's too hard to decide and I can't be bothered. But, yeah. So, we've got the Kingdom of Iberia, which is occupied by Martin's firstborn son. His brother can have a... There's a lot of quality settlements here. So we've got the Kingdom of Iberia, the Kingdom of the Franks. So I shouldn't say the Franks. I should say Francia because we're not Franks. So the Kingdom of Francia, the Kingdom of Iberia because we're not technically... The Kingdom of Francia because it's France. Kingdom of Italy. Now up in the north here, the idea was I'm going to give Ireland to Theodore. He can have his own island, my island. That was really cool, that sort of expedition against the Irish. So Theodore... And his firstborn son, Isaac, will inherit Cashel and the entirety of Ireland. So we do have, obviously, England. Now, who should have England? Well, technically, she's half English as well, and so was Martin. So maybe I should give... I know Leo's going to have a prominent castle. But I'm thinking of these as their own sort of faction. Or maybe I should change that around. Maybe I should give Leo. Yeah, I should give Leo the Kingdom of Iberia. Sorry. I'm sort of just discussing. I'm making this up as I go. I really like doing this. It's like the role-playing aspect. So, okay, let's reiterate. This will be it. I think this will be the official one. So, obviously, Scholacticus and Martin will inherit the Kingdom of Italy and rule from Syracuse. He is the emperor of the entirety, but giving out the lordships. So... Leo will be Lord of Francia. The kingdom of... The king... Oh, sorry. The Dutch... <laughs> the Duke of Iberia will be Sicinius. And I'm going to give his brother, uh, Ad here, the... He's got, he's got a settlement in Mercia and then a settlement in Wessex. So I guess we could call that... Messix? <laughs> the kingdom of Messix. Oh, Jesus. This is called Middlesex, or Messix, we'll call it. And then Ed can have that. Theodore, then his sons can have Ireland. So I think that's really quite cool. But here's the family tree. Scalacticus. They had two children. Uh, a couple of bastards here. Theodore, being married to Massalia, had three sons. Isaac... Conan, obviously Zachary 
our biggest casualty of the Duchy of Provence War. His wife was pregnant when he died, giving birth to his natural-born son. Martin, who died when he was 51, missed out on the Duchy of Provence Wars, but still left Sicinius and Ed here. Theo, his bastard's come of age. But, uh, yeah, I'm officially going to end the video here and the series. So, thank you very much for watching if you watched all the way through. At any point in time, if you've left a like, a comment, a favourite, or you have subscribed because this Byzantine series, I really do appreciate it. I have put a lot of effort into this campaign, so I would appreciate a like. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. If you want to stay tuned for more content, you're most welcome to check out my social media links. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram all in the description below. But on that note, let me know in the comments what campaign you'd like me to replace this. Uh, doesn't necessarily have to be Age of Charlemagne, even though there are a couple of factions I'd still like to do on it. But yeah, it just has to be uh, Total War, of course. Could go back to Empire, like I said before, or Medieval. But uh, yeah, 56 minutes this video has gone for another, a nearly another hour special. But uh, yeah, hope you've enjoyed as much as I have. I've had an absolute blast reforging the Roman Empire from the theme of Sicily, creating the Byzantine Empire. It's been a lot of fun. But yeah, my name has been Simsy. Stay tuned for more content on uh, Simpsy Total War. Goodbye.